Let's see how you update an Apple Watch. With the release of watchOS 1.0.1 earlier today, I thought it would be appropriate to make a video actually showing you how to update your Apple Watch because it is slightly different than with other Apple products. You don't do it directly on the device. By the way, if you're interested in seeing what's new in watchOS 1.0.1, Click on the eye in the top right corner of the screen and click on the first card that comes up. Nonetheless, let's talk about updating the Apple Watch. So to do this, you want to make sure that you have your phone and your watch near you and you want to make sure that they are connected to each other. Then on your home screen, you want to navigate to the Apple Watch app, tap on that, and then scroll down until you see the general section. Once you've tapped on that, you'll see about and then right under that, tap on software update just one more time. And if you have an update available, like I do right here, you'll see some text down below that says download and install. You wanna make sure you tap on that and then it's actually going to ask you to enter the passcode of your iPhone or your passcode for your iPhone. I assume only if you have that enabled. After you've done that, go ahead and click agree in the bottom right hand corner to say okay to Apple's terms and conditions. And as soon as you've done that, the update for your Apple Watch will immediately start downloading. Now it takes a few minutes, and for me it actually took 10 or even 15 minutes just to download the file. Of course, that will all depend on the speed of your internet connection, but once that is done downloading, it'll actually take a second to begin installing on the Apple Watch. And a very important step here is that the software for your Apple Watch will not install until you actually meet three criteria, which is having it plugged in or connected to a power source, it is actually charging and the Apple Watch battery percentage is at 50% or higher, which is pretty specific. But nonetheless, after you have met those three criteria, it'll actually take a few seconds to realize that it's plugged in. But after it does realize that, it'll start actually installing the software update. And before you get to a loading screen that you're used to seeing, I saw two or three little spinning indicators flash on and off the screen for just a second or two. You might even see one happen in this video. But after you finally get to this screen that is the circle made out of dotted lines surrounding the Apple logo that you probably saw when you first installed apps on the Apple Watch, you know that the update is installing. But unfortunately, it yet again took another 10 or 15 minutes just to actually install the update on the Apple Watch. Nonetheless, of course, I skipped quite a bit of footage here, but when it's done, it'll just take you back to the watch face. You'll have to enter your passcode if you have one set, and after that, your Apple Watch will be updated. If you guys enjoyed the video or it helped you out, feel free to leave a like down below and of course subscribe for more content related to the Apple Watch and updates in general. This has been Sam with iUpdate OS. I hope you guys had a great day and I will talk to you in my next video.